Good evening, Steamians. I really, really hope that you are doing great. This is Rehan, and welcome back to another vlog today. Well, recently in Steam Blockchain, we have been seeing lots of things related to communities, and from my point of view, it is one of the best things that really happened. But apparently, everything has a positive and a negative side as well. So I'm gonna share my views of communities today and some things related to it so let's see what do I really have for you and before I go any further I'm saying that these are just my thoughts that I'm really sharing with all of you so do not take it personally so the very first thing which as a content creator I do notice is choosing a community for the content that I'm really sharing and this is one of the best thing because as a DTuber, I have a DTube community where I can share my posts. Whenever I think of curating posts related to video contents, I will simply go to the DTube community or any other communities which are related to video contents and I can easily find the contents that I am really looking forward to curate. And as a result, I will be supporting users without really searching elsewhere or without really going any other places. Just pick up few posts. If you like it, support them. If you do not really like it, skip them. Or if you really think this particular post is abusing the platform, just downvote it. As simple as that. And this community feature have really enabled it and I believe that it would be really a great opening for content creators and users can really relate their contents very much easily. And now let's come to the big part which is the negative side of it. Well, I believe that if you really have good intentions about your contents then you always will think about not only about yourself but others as well. So. I believe that you already have seen some people are misusing this opportunity and they are taking this to a whole new level and apparently they will really get what they really deserve. For instance, the cross posting feature and if you are already creating contents then I believe you are already aware of this feature and you probably have used it as well. And if you have not, then I just want to give a brief description about This is a feature which really enables a user to post in different communities without really making a second post. Like if I have created a post in DTube community, I can use a feature which is available on Steampeak right now and by just doing a simple task which is enabling the feature of cross posting and selecting the community that I really want to post I can just click those and make a single line heading and click the repost button and boom there it goes my post have been reposted on another community well in a way it is really really a great thought which would really give much more exposure to a content creator but apparently like i said everything have a positive and a negative side some people are really misusing this cross posting feature and some users have really taken it quite far like they have created a post and they are just spamming the different communities as a result which is really making much more users discomfortable because as a content creator i do not really want to see someone's single post more than two or three times in my feed that would be really really annoying to be honest and as a user to support you it would really have a different meaning from my perspective so in a way it might really sound good for a short term because the rewards that you will be getting as of now might really look great for you but in the long run if you just ruin your reputation it would not be really helpful for your long term journey in steam blockchain what are my thoughts regarding it like i said i really want to use the cross posting feature as well i am very much selective about it but still now i probably have used it once like i have posted a blog on about splinter lens and i shared it on a tribe but i wanted to share it with the community of splinter lens so i've just reposted it out there and doing it once in a while is somehow tolerable but apparently if you really use it often then you will be noticed by the 
users who are following you and apparently they will really have a different thoughts about your contents so this is just the common sense guys because I don't really want to see my news feed being a spammed one and I don't really like to support or, the, or I do not really like to follow those users who are really misusing the potential which a certain project really has so I will leave it up to you what you really think about it just like I said I'm just sharing my thoughts with all of you and hopefully you understand what I'm really saying because this is our community we should really come forward to make it happen to make it a neat and clean platform like it always should be so I hope I was able to make myself clear what I'm really trying to say and hopefully you will do what is best for your steam journey and as usual I would really like to thank you guys for watching the vlog till now and I'll be seeing you soon on the next vlog till then cheers